Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be writing in our writing journals. So get those out and get ready. But the letter we are going to be doing today is letter V. V, V, V. And I have lots of words to tell you that begin with that letter V. Capital V, lowercase v. Well, did you notice? They're just exactly alike, except the lowercase v is a little bit smaller. And both are made with straight lines, so they're pretty easy. I'm going to get my whiteboard to start with, like I always do, and show you how to make the V. And then I'm going to show you some things or talk about some things, some words that start with the V, V, V sound. All right, I'll pick up my pen and pinch it. And I am going to start on the left side of the page or of my whiteboard, actually. Let's see if we can see that pretty well. I think we can. All right. Start at the left at the green dot. I will start up at the skyline and make a diagonal line going down to touch the ground. And then back up with another diagonal. Now that's pretty easy. Capital V. I'll make another capital V. Start at the skyline, a diagonal down to touch the ground, diagonal back up to touch the sky. Look at that. You try one in a minute, and we'll just see if you can do it. Now, those are capital Vs. They go all the way to the sky. But if I want to make a lowercase v, I will start at the dotted lines, and I will go down to the ground, just like the capital, diagonal, and diagonal up. Let's start at the dotted line, diagonal down to the ground, diagonal up. Diagonal down to the ground, diagonal up. Now if you notice, I usually use a whiteboard that has two lines that are solid and one in the middle that is a broken line, we say. It means it goes dot, 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 dot. You may not have that at home, but guess what? I am sending home in your folders this week a sheet. It has a little puppy dog up here, but that's just to tell you that's where you start on the top. This sheet has two solid lines with a broken line or a dotted line in the middle. And if you'd like to practice writing on that, it might help you just a little bit to make it just like Marie does. All right, I also, well, let's do our writing journals first, then I'm going to show you some special thing that I brought with me that begins with the letter V. v. I'm going to get my writing journal. I am going to turn to the first clean page. The first clean page has nothing on it. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. There we go. And what's the first thing we always put at the top? You're right, our names. I'm going to write my name, and I didn't use tracing lines this time, but if your grown-up would like to make you some, that's fine. I'm going to write Miss Marie. You write your name while I'm writing mine. Okay, I'm going to start at the skyline, go down and touch. Diagonal, diagonal. And down. Now look here. Look what's in the middle of my M of my name. Another letter. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a V in the middle of that M. I hadn't noticed that before. I think that's kind of cool. Alright, you continue to write your name as I write mine. And then we'll go on down to the letter V. Here we go, and my R, my I, and my E. There we go, Miss Marie. Does yours say Miss Marie? No, it has your name. It says your name. It might say Charlie, or it might say Janae. 
It might say Annie Kate or Frazier. It might say Hudson. Or it could even say Ook. I think Paul and Samuel probably are writing their names too, so each one of you will have your name at the top. If you finish that, let's do a little bit more with the letter V. We're going to start up here at the skyline, and I have tracing lines for that since it's brand new. I might need a little help, and you might too. Get your grown-up to make you some. Down to the ground diagonal, up to the sky diagonal. Look at that. Lowercase v, it starts in the middle. Down to the ground, up to the middle. Uppercase v starts at the sky, down to the ground, up to the sky. And then lowercase v, down to the ground, up to the middle. V, 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 V. They're all Vs. The character that goes with our alphabet this week is Vincent Bat. Vincent Vampire Bat. Two Vs in that. And this is Vincent. And I'm thinking the letter V, kind of a little bit, looks like a bat. Look at that, his wings go up. They have a diagonal going down and a diagonal coming up. All right, the next thing, and the next line down, what we're going to do is write a word that begins with a V sound, with a V. This is a big word, but I had to put it in here because it's one of Miss Nikki's favorite V words, volcano. She loves erupting her volcano, and we'll be doing that in class this week. Let's write volcano. Get a grown-up to help you with tracing lines. And then we'll write V, O, L. Now this is a lowercase L, but it starts all the way up to the sky and comes straight down. C, A, N, humpback. And an O, we can all make an O. Volcano, we go from left to right, green to red. All right, after you get the word volcano written, we're gonna work on some of our numbers. I thought the numbers eight and the number nine might be good ones to work on because they both have a lot of curvy lines in them. Let's start at the top. Let's make, well, let's make an S kind of around and around and around back up look at that that's a lot of curvy lines let's try that again all the way down to the middle curve like an s curve back around and back up and touch eight eight number nine has a circle and a big long stick touching the ground all our numbers are going to sit on the ground line circle and a stick. Eight, eight, nine, nine. Those are two very good numbers to practice. Alrighty, let's see if we can write something. Now there's nothing, there was nothing down here at the bottom. And I know the last time we made letters together in our writing journals, I said, why don't you practice on your name again? So that's exactly what I've done. I'm gonna write Miss Marie again. I feel like my name is very important. I like to be able to write it just right. M, you write your name. There with our diagonals. M, A, R, I, and a, an E, across, see the across, and around, and sit on the ground. I have a whole page of practice, but you know what? I'm feeling kind of like I'd like to learn some more. I'm going to turn to another clean page and maybe write another V word. Now this is a very, very, hear that V? Long word, but it's one of my favorites. Vegetable. I like the word because I like what it means. It means yummy food to eat. We can eat this food when we sit down to dinner at night. We can eat vegetables when we go on a picnic. Oh, there are just lots of times that we can eat vegetables. Across and around. That's a strange word to spell. 
And it's a long word, but it begins with a V. You don't have to write that word, but you might write vest or video or vacation. I'm thinking about a vacation one of these days. I would like to go to the beach. How about you? I'm going to make a tea. And an A. I made that T a little small, but I think that'll be all right. I think I have chosen a really hard word to spell. I hope I get it right. V-E-G-E-T-A-B-L-E. -E. And we'll try to make an S. Let's make an S. That S could turn into an 8 if we wanted to be funny. Look at that. But it's not an 8. It's an S. So you practice all you want. And don't forget, when you get this paper home in your folder, you can write all you want. And you even have dotted lines or broken lines in solid lines, just like when I write on my whiteboard. Now, I've been saving a very good surprise for you. I think you're going to like this because I have something that begins with the letter V. What do I have? Well, it looks a little like a guitar, but here is a clue. You play it with a bow. You put your finger on the strings to make different sounds, and you have the bow go back and forth. This is called a violin. A violin. Now, do you remember? We saw an instrument that looked kind of like this at the Bluegrass Museum. It in our pictures of bluegrass instruments, and we didn't call it a v violin. Usually, a violin is played in an orchestra or when they're playing beautiful music that maybe doesn't even have any words. You'll just hear the beautiful violin playing. When we see it or hear it with bluegrass music, we call it a fiddle. It's exactly the very same instrument that has a, the instrument with strings, but also has a bow. This is a bow. And you pull it across the strings to make music. The same instrument, but played a different way. And usually, bluegrass music is a little faster, and most of the time, it probably even has words that you can sing along with it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our letter V, our letter V words, our volcano, our vacation, vest, vegetables, video. I especially hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.